In this presentation, we're going to look at an accrued or earned revenue. We're going to use the accounts receivable account here to accrue those revenues. Remember, accounts receivable is an asset on the balance sheet. And then we're going to recognize those revenues as we earn them here in the revenue account, which is part of net income on the income statement. So what is an accrued or earned revenue? Well, an example here. We perform some services for a customer for before being paid. So just looking at the timeline here, I'm looking at March through October, and we have some goods or services here that we have provided. That is, we've provided these services to our customer. And we, just for example here, we've done that at $500 per month. So those those services or goods were accrued or earned revenue. The revenue is earned but it's not yet paid in cash. So we perform the services or we provided the goods up here and then at a later date after we've done that we get paid in cash for the services that we provided. In this case I just use five thousand dollars here as a payment we received for the services that we previously provided. So what we have to do here is allocate those goods or services to our revenue account on the in net income on the income statement. So then let's go look here at the accounts receivable where we accrue those goods and services. In this example I use the five hundred dollar payment or five hundred dollars per month that we earned those services at which is where we would debit or increase accounts receivable by that amount five hundred dollars per month and then the corresponding credit entry would be to revenue where we credit revenue or increase revenue at five hundred dollars per month then later after we get paid for those goods or services, in this case I use the $5,000 payment here, we credit accounts receivable or reduce account, uh, accounts receivable by $5,000 and then the corresponding debit would be to cash where we debit cash for $5,000 for the payment that we receive for those goods or services and that increases the cash account and remember that cash is an asset on the balance sheet. So in summary, an overview of what we're looking at here, we accrue or we earn some, uh, we earn those goods or services by providing them up front before we get paid in cash and then we recognize that revenue here on the, in the revenue account where we increase the revenue account which gets as part of net income on the income statement. Remember, this revenue account gets close to, at the end of the period or end of the year, it gets close to the stockholder's equity account, which is on the balance sheet here. And then when we get paid for the goods or services that we provided, after we provided them, we reduce accounts receivable and we increase cash by that amount.